everybody. Welcome to ARE Live. I'm Mark Tier, the founder of Black Spectacles, and today I'm again with Mike Newman, who's going to talk through the site planning and design exam. Uh, today we're going to demonstrate how many of the site planning and design concepts um, show up in this exam in multiple ways, and how you're going to want to um, sort of approach that knowledge differently depending on whether um, you're focused on the multiple choice exam or the vignettes. Um, so, but before we get started, uh, if you'd like to attend our next ARE live broadcast, um, where we're going to uh, discuss the transition from ARE 4 to ARE 5, um, visit blackspectacles.com slash podcast to register. Uh, and during the broadcast, you have a chance to ask questions to the group and to Mike. Um, now, if you don't know M Mike, he is an adjunct professor at the School of the Art Institute of Chicago. He's also the founder of Shed Studio, and he is the instructor for Black Spectacles Online AIA ARE Prep Curriculum, uh, which if you haven't already checked out, our AIA ARE Prep Curriculum, you can head over to blackspectacles.com to watch any of the free tutorials from the courses. Um, and today we have a very special Black Spectacles promo code to share, so stay tuned to hear about, uh, to hear about that at the end of the broadcast. Um, but first, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hand it over to Mike. All right, thanks, Mark. Um, as, as you just said, uh, we're gonna talk a bit about some site issues, uh, and specifically how the same set of concepts and terminology will show up in a bunch of different places. So uh, that could be uh, PPP, the, the Programming Planning and Practice exam, it could be the CDNS exam, it could be the um, uh, Building Design exam. Uh, there's a whole series of different uh, places where there's a lot of crossover. And the thing to sort of think about is how each of those has their own set of agendas, and so you have to think about the information and the question kind of in the light of that. But specifically, what we're gonna be talking about today is, as Mark mentioned, uh, is the sort of difference between the multiple choice version of the way that you think about these concepts and, and terminology versus the vignette version of it. And so we're just gonna run through a bunch of different issues and, and uh, some different ways of talking about these things and uh, just sort of place them into that context uh, and sort of see which, uh, which way uh, that you would, you would work with an issue or talk about an issue uh, given the different uh, place that we'd be talking about it. So uh, let's sort of jump into it. So uh, we're going to talk about, here's sort of a little uh, index of what we're going to go through. We're going to talk about orientation issues, which has to do with obviously the sun. We're going to talk about climate issues, a little bit about landscaping. Uh, landscaping in many ways uh, is a very simplistic thing on the exam uh, with a few very specific and deep exceptions. Uh, we'll talk about uh, how the landscaping impacts uh, various other aspects like dealing with views and breezes, things like that. Uh, then we'll also kind of get into more of the kind of designed end of things. Uh, so talking about uh, surveys and easements and zoning rules and that kind of thing with parking and driving, uh, pedestrian walks, um, topography, uh, all of those kinds of topics. So we have a lot to kind of cover. We're not going to go super deep on any of it. That's not really the point of this discussion. The point of this discussion is to sort of get a, a taste of all of these things, but to think about them in the sort of different ways that they can be talked about. So let's go to our first uh, sort of main topic here. Let's talk about orientation issues. So as everybody knows, when we say the word orientation in the context of uh, architecture, specifically in the context of an exam, uh, you're talking about uh, sunlight. You're talking about where is the sun compared to the project. Uh, and when we're talking about multiple choice type questions, uh, specifically on the site um, planning, but also on the you know uh, uh, PPP and some of the other ones that are, it's likely to show up, you're talking about a constantly moving sense. You're talking about the sun is always moving through the sky. And it has a sort of fluid and uh, sort of constant change aspect to it. And so your part of a question about that would always be uh, regarding seasonal change and or time of change during the day. So just as an obvious example, uh, sun is rising in the east, uh, so if we're looking at a building and plan here, you got the sun uh, rising over in the east and the sunlight is coming at us uh, from there, 
get towards the middle of the day. All right, now we're uh, kind of roughly in the middle zone and the sun is coming at our project that way. And then the end of the day, we're kind of uh, coming at it from, from the west. Uh, so it's moving along. We're talking about different seasonal aspects. If we were saying uh, what I just drew is fairly kind of a winter version, uh, these same spots might be uh, more like this uh, in, the, in the summer. But you get the idea that this is sort of constantly moving. Uh, this, I, this description, this way of thinking about it, where you're looking at it in plan, and you have the idea of the sort of uh, uh, coordinates, um, cardinal points, uh, north, south, east, west, that kind of thing, uh, that's referred to as the solar azimuth. That's the angle uh, that is from the polar coordinates. So, uh, you know, the angle off of south, the, the, the amount of uh, difference away from south, uh, and it's constantly moving, and it's different every day through the year uh, as it goes back and forth uh, in these seasonal adjustments. Then there's a solar altitude, which is, well, how high is the sun uh, off of the uh, ground plane? You know, what is that angle uh, that uh, is going to sort of be able to sort of represent uh, that, uh, the way that sunlight is coming down at our structure? So two very different uh, aspects of the same basic thing that allows us to place the sun in the sort of three dimensions. Uh, well, that's all great, and it's really important to think about that in terms of if I want to have uh, gain, solar gain in the, in the winter, but then block it uh, with a canopy or something for the summer. Like, that sense of movement is really important. Uh, but on the vignette, when you start talking about site planning vignette, there's going to be an assumption that that uh, uh, is a static idea. And the reason for that is not because they want you to think of it as static, it's just because it's too complicated on the vignette to get into any of uh, all of those very sort of dynamic and moving different aspects of these things. So uh, instead of thinking of the sun having uh, a sunrise and a middle of the day and then a sunset, on the vignette you're really going to think about it only from the south. And the solar uh, angle, solar altitude, is going to always be at 45 degrees. So when you think about that, that means I'm always going to have that be at that 45 degrees, which means the shadow is going to be the same as that height. So that's going to be a one-to-one -one relationship. Uh, so there's, there's no reason why they would choose this number other than to make your life easier, other than to make the vignette simple. But it is a little confusing because you have this fairly dynamic version in the multiple choice and then this very static version in the vignette. So that's the kind of thing that you have to be a little careful about uh, when you start thinking about how these things uh, are being discussed. Now, it's possible in the vignette that you might get some sort of uh, thing where they say the, the restaurant wants to have a, uh, a breakfast area where they get sunlight in the morning or something like that. Like they might bring some complication into it. But I think the vast majority of the time, they're always going to be expecting you to think of it from the south on the 45 degree angle. Uh, so why is the 45 degree angle important? Well, because there's going to be a lot of spots where uh, there's going to be something, maybe it's a plaza, maybe it's a garden, but there's going to be some sort of specialty, specialty element that uh, they're going to specifically ask you to, to say, don't, uh, you know, please put this into the sun. Uh, so if there's an existing building that's, uh, you know, 50 feet tall uh, and you have a plaza that's supposed to be in the sun, well, it has to be at least 50 feet away in order to be able to get that sun if it's on the north side of the building. Uh, so fairly simple and straightforward. None of this is uh, rocket science. It's really just sort of talking about the sort of basic terminology that we're using. Uh, and then how it differs uh, in these two different, uh, different places. Mm -hmm.